Stereo lights are on TCAST, TARA, bing bong, main air valves are oh, that's wrong. Line controls, we did that. Anti-ice engine is on, master warning is clear. Trim light went away. Yeah, I, I reset that. Okay. Flaps, air brakes, and uh, trims, one, two, three, set for takeoff, speeds are posted, fats is done, APR to go. All right, RNAV up to 3,000 feet. Here we go. All right. All right, Come power on. is set. Clock is clocking, APR is armed, speed's alive. 80 knots. My top. B1. Rotate. B2. Positive rate. Yeah, yep. I'll leave the ignitions on for a little bit. Okay. Contact and departure, have a great day. Appreciate all your help. We'll talk to you on the way back uh, in a couple of days. Oh. One to go. One to go. Two for three. Hello, Tampa. 2400, climbing 3000. Tampa departure, good afternoon. I then climb and maintain 1, 2000, 12000. Okay, the light's coming down, 12000 zip. The uh, new altitude. Corridor right, contact three west of the Sarasota Airport. Thank you. Gears up, main air valves one and two, they're open. Yaw damp is engaged, flaps are up, APR is disarmed, engine sync is on, and one. And. Leave the ignition's on for a little while. Contact Miami Center, 132.35, good day. 32 and 35, uh, you all have a great, great day also, thanks. Miami Center, 2881, contact Houston Center, 135.77. Miami, good afternoon, 7200, climbing 12,000. Miami Center West, climb and maintain flood level 200. 200 now. I see 200, up we go. Looks like you're going to be turning just in time. Might catch a little bit of this, yeah. but I don't think it's going to be too bad. 725 Charlie, Charlie, Miami Center, Rudder. Deviate left of course, when able to see direct ended. Okay, we're cleared to deviate uh, left of course. So what was that fix again? Ended. Ended when able. Ended when able, okay, thank you. How about we poke that in there and see how it looks? Yeah, you like it over there? Yeah. Two zero zero set. All right, wake me up when we get there. All yeah, right. Here's 2881, Houston Center, 135.77. South of 1961, search your descent for traffic. Uh, I can't reach it. Uh, I'll get it here in just a second. Autopilot's on.
There's some crappy weather in Florida, man. That's why we love it so. The weather was nice all the time. We wouldn't have to get instrument ratings and then everybody could Yeah, this. right. <laughs> Sun Country 741, deviation south of Forest, approved, and there's 17 uh, uphill, nines and twos. Contact Jacksonville Center, 135.75. I got it, I got it. 135.75, yeah. I got it for you. Enjoy. You are not Tampa, altimeter 2997. Delta 2981, cross Tabor 135-250, not 2997. Good afternoon, Jack Center, Delta 723, checking in, flight level 190. Delta 723, Jack Center, Roger, good afternoon, Sean Ayers and Mario, precipitation for the next 10 miles. Delta 4 Jackson, Hawker 190 for 200. Hello. Jackson or Hawker, leveling now, 200. Zero, zero. All right, sorry about that. I was talking to uh, the high side. Jackson, the Roger, good afternoon. Showing areas of moderate heavy precipitation. Actually, moderate precipitation, actually, total clock at about 50 miles, extending scattered northbound for about 30 miles. Then showing areas of moderate heavy extreme precipitation. Beginning around the Momi intersection, extending northwest mile for about 60 miles. Climb and maintain for level 260. Climb maintain 260. Jackson, or Anchor, just give us the climb first and then tell us yeah, right? the weather. Direct to Ocala. That com 1610, if I didn't climb you, climb and maintain 16,000. 16,000, that com 1610. XJF 508 Jackson, the Roger, the center maintain for level 200. 200, XJF 508. Right on 7 Lima Julia, showing areas of modern precipitation, scattered, beginning in your present position, extending all the way to Brooksville. Cross 5, 25, I'm sorry, cross 25, 25 miles west of Brooksville, that's 5,000. All right, cross 25 west of Brooksville at 5,000, 7 Lima Julia. Number 7, Lima Julia, Tampa, altimeter 2997. Com 1610, climb and maintain, fly level uh, 210. Okay, 210 for Com 1610. And uh, just to verify, did you clear me to a waypoint or do you want me to maintain the setting? Com 1610, uh, when able, clear direct Wylon. Okay, Wylon, when able, do that now for Com 1610. Contact Jack Hill Center on 125.17. You have a good day. Okay, 25 and uh, 17 now. Thanks for the help. Good day. Hello, Jacks. Up 226, climbing 260. Jackson, Little Center, Roger. I'm in maintain flight level 340. 340 now. And, uh, don't want to jinx it, but so far the ride's been pretty smooth. Okay, Roger. Uh, light shop says you have a precip to the north on that. Not too bad. Thank you. All right. I see 34. That screen of yours is nothing but bad news. You need to turn that thing yeah, off. Yeah, right? Just turn it off? So uh, you you want to see that was, one instead? Yeah, or? yeah. <laughs> yeah. when well, I was... Learning to fly, you know, my instructor told me at nighttime if your engine quits, the first thing you do is you turn on your landing light. You so you can see the land rushing up at you? Or? And then, yeah, if you don't like what you see, you turn it back turn off. Turn it back off. Yeah, it looks like between Patoy and Jaja. Alcatraz Three Golf Hotel contract is our only real weather for the entire day. Three Five Six Two Three Golf Hotel. And it looks like a left deviation, just a left offset of ten miles, will pretty much solve the problem. We'll see here in a couple minutes. Like your tilt is down at 
Oh, you're bringing yeah. it up. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's... Mine doesn't show much until up there by mice's. Right. Well, the one up there at mice's has tops of 38,000. But nothing else between there has a top reported, so... Center Southwest 1823, flight level 350. Southwest 1823, Jackson Low Center Rod. Center United 550 with you, 230, climb at You know, if you could give us direct to Georgia, Center Roger, there's a moderate to increase the station. That may solve the majority of the problem. Three miles south, stretching eight zero miles to the north. If you need to deviate, advise, climb and maintain. Flight level 340. Climb 18, 340, we're direct to Wylon at the moment. Uh, we'll advise you we need to uh, deviate, you know, at 550. And uh, Jack, any chance we can get direct to Georgia, that would help us avoid that weather between Batoy and Mices. Our commander out to maintain fall 320 and clear direct to uh, Heaven. Hotel Echo, Victor, Victor November, H E V V N, then direct to. Uh, and direct to, well, you want to go direct to your destination after that? Yeah, sure, we can do that. And Hawker, uh, after heaven, go direct to your destination. Okay, it'll be uh, direct heaven now, and then direct Fort Wayne, and uh, the new altitude, amended altitude is 320. Everybody want to go to heaven. Uh, they got writer's cramp, and now they do that. Yeah, right? All right. Heaven, destination. Nobody want to go now. Don't have to do some dodging. Let the thing stabilize and see what happens. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> the temperature? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's still in there. I'll tell you what, some of the worst ice I ever had was in a King Air B-100 right over Tallahassee. Yeah. Unbelievable how much it picked up in, in like 23,000 feet. It takes about 30 seconds to do it. I've flown across the Atlantic in you know, 172. Climbing through two five nine. It can nine take a long time to build up. I mean, I've had this much ice on a 172. Oh, holy right. cow! It gets square on the front. Yeah. Your airspeed indicator reads 70 knots. Engines at full power. <laughs> Plowing through the air, huh? Where to go? I'll tell you, an airplane that's really bad in ice is a Cirrus, that laminar flow wing. Is it? Yeah. Uh, it slows down almost 20 knots in, in rain. Hawk contact, Jack, center 135.62. They should be able to get you higher in about three minutes. All right, 35 and 62. We sure appreciate the help. Good day, sir. Jack, still 20. Uh, good evening, Jax. Uh, we're leveling 320 at this time. Jax, we'll send around to welcome skaters with moderate heavy uh, precipitation along your route of flight for about the next 90 miles. Higher is going to be about five minutes. Okay, no worries. Uh, we may have to deviate a little bit uh, to the left once we get a little closer to heaven. Uh, uh, we'll let you know. All right, yeah, just let me know. Thank you. 704, level 370. No, 2705, 390, level 370. Maintain flight level 400. Pretty clear now to 400. Thank you. I see 40. <clears throat> United 1980, direct same. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave it on for just a little bit. United 1980, roger. Thanks. Contact Jack Center now 135.75. Good day. 3575, United 1980. American 2314, contact Jack Center 135.75. Good day. 3575, American 2314. Good day. Remember, I'm now excuse me, King 380. We'll stop at a 380. 38. 
Are we there yet? Five more minutes. Hey, what's going on guys? Sean here, living the corporate pilot life. We are en route right now from Sarasota, Florida up to uh, uh, Fort Wayne, Indiana. I haven't been to Fort Wayne in quite a while, so uh, I'm gonna have to refresh my memory on the airport layout once we get up there a little bit closer. But it uh, should be pretty easy. We had a little weather getting out of Florida, but then in the last weather we have is pretty much at the uh, Florida Georgia line. So it's gonna be nice weather all the way up there. And uh, we get a couple days in Fort Wayne, then we'll make our way back to, uh, to Florida here uh, this weekend. Uh, I haven't really introduced you guys to the new headset yet in flight. I know I showed it to you guys on a, uh, on a ground video, but the new David Clark, I've been using it for a few weeks now, and it is fantastic, guys. Just phenomenal headset. I've always got uh, the music going because of the Bluetooth connection. Works flawlessly. Um, it, uh, I can't say enough good things about it. So, uh, yeah, if you guys are looking for a nice review on this headset, thumbs up on my part. So, anyway, we're cruising along here at 41,000 feet. Let me spin you around and show you the, uh, the fun part. There you go, 41,000 feet, doing 221 knots indicated, which is uh, Mach 7.6 right now. It's about as fast as we can go based on this altitude and, uh, and fuel load we got right now. So if you come over here, you can see we got 59 minutes to go, and uh, we'll be in Fort Wayne, Indiana. So uh, they have given us direct to Fort Wayne here a little while ago, so it's... Uh, uh, very nice of them, shortcut. So uh, we'll get there here in a little while, start the descent in a little bit, about uh, 30 minutes. All right, we got the ILS loaded in there already, right? Yeah, I believe so. Let's double check it though, and just make sure we're all on the same page. ABB, ILS, you said 32. What I'm thinking. F1, Hillary, Jack Boo's on there too. And that was 2301, yeah. climb and maintain full of 320. 320 southwest 301. And uh, my frequency sometimes cuts off. Uh, make sure that's 3209 when the happens. Uh, flight level 320 southwest 2301. Thank you. That's a nice decision height, 1,000 feet. Okay. That's convenient. The touchdown zone elevation is exactly 800 feet. Yeah. Contact Zindi Center on uh, 124.52. 24 and 52. Thank you, sir. Good day. And uh, Indy, we're at uh, 240. Indy Center, Roger. Okay, there's Endeavor there's 5184, there's contact any approach, 128.1. Well, Indianapolis should be right over there, right? Okay, Indianapolis 5184, good day, sir. Good idea. Should be. I don't see anything yeah, but fields fine. right now. Here, clear direct Fort Wayne. Okay, direct to the airport. Uh, Cafe 0902, yeah. cross Oops. Caleb at 11,000 and 2509. Go to, um, 250 and and Indy, are you okay with us going to uh, Lillery? It's the initial approach fix for 3-2 there at Fort Wayne. Uh, yes, sir. And uh, what was the uh, fix again? How do you spell that? Uh, Lima, India, Lima, Romeo, Echo. Yes, sir. You're clear direct to the uh, Lillery fix and then direct Fort Wayne. Thank you, sir. Direct Lillery and direct uh, Fort Wayne. Yeah, I'm old stomping grounds. Hey, Bluegrass 55, uh, request the time. Bluegrass 55, just head to your discretion to 11000, the NDL altimeter is 3012. 3012, 11000, uh, pass discretion. Uh, Bluegrass 55. Probably need to be bringing this thing down, huh? <coughs> What's that? <clears throat> eh, we're only 54 miles out. Yep, that's why I'm, I, I just poked it in there to, to give us 2300 at Lilry. 
following the path to it. So as long as it'll make a stop at 11. 19.8 for 20,000. Three zero one two is the meter, I believe. Sky was 30.31, descend to maintain 1-1,000. 1-1,000, Sky was 30.31. All right, Echo, wind's calm. It's 3012, like you said. And um, 5 and 23 is still closed. Contact Fort Wayne approach, 127.2, and let them know your direct low read. Okay, we'll do that. Thanks for your help, sir. Good day. Good day to you. Good afternoon, Fort Wayne. It's uh, Hawker with ATIS Echo. And uh, we're direct to Littlery at this time. Hawker, uh, forward approach, uh, evening tail altimeter is 3012, expect lower at 5 miles, and the visual 32. Okay, uh, lower at 5, and we got the rest. Thanks, visual 32. All the uh, descents and all that stuff, good to go. Let's see here. Main air valves are open, pressurization set. Briefing, I got no. The landing runway 32, we've talked about the ILS. Four wing approach, land 36. 150 with you, 7,000. Lance 36150, uh, following approach. Uh, good evening, now altimeter 3012. All 3012. Hucker, descent of 3,000. 3,000. I see 3,000. Altimeters are set, flight deck valves closed, exterior lights. You got those cabin notices, we'll get those. Bing! These and harnesses you're in, I'm in. Nose wheel steering. It's clear on the left. Cool. It was all nicely balanced and then you messed it up. Yeah, I know. My okay. fault. B ref landing distance, all that is computated cool. and uh, that's it. All righty. All right, I'm going to go out on a limb, a big, big limb. Predict that our next frequency. Hawker, continue direct Larry for the visual 3 2, descend to maintain 2,500, advise the airport. Okay, we're going down to 2,500 now, and uh, we're still going to go direct to Little Ray, and we'll call you when we have the airport in sight. All right, visual 3-2. We've still got that ILS in there. I do not have a ghost needle yet, though. Which is well, I'll tell you how we can cheat the system here. One oh nine nine. Yeah, I would do the top on the ILS. <laughs> there we go. Now I got me a ghost needle. I don't know if that loc will be tuned. Came up. It came up as you were typing it. Yeah, I think uh, it just came up. Yeah. It's just coincidence. Yeah, I think so. Maybe we were a little, a little ahead of the game, perhaps, but we know it's done. Nice little puffy cloud here. Yeah. Like the Pillsbury Doughboy cloud. Yeah. Woohoo! Seneca 4, Foxshot Jewel, traffic no factor. Uh, Roger that, Foxshot Jewel. I see a fault line in the ground. Crossed. I think there's going to be an earthquake. Well, I'm glad we're up here then. Yeah. Oh, approach November 107. I always wanted to see one of those from the air. Diamond uh, 107. I just wanted to go for 2500. Approach, good? 2500. 2500. About 10 miles to the west of Smithfield, requesting flight following while we do maneuvers in the vicinity. Diamond 7 Tango X, Roger that squawk 4621. Seven Tango X-ray with we'll squawk four six two one. You want me to call it? Yeah, you, you got it in sight. Airport eleven o'clock, uh, one zero miles. Yes, sir. We're just going to call you. We have it in sight. Hawker, uh, thank you. Clear visual approach runway three two. Contact Fort Wayne Tower one one nine or point one. Have a great night. You do the same, sir. Thanks for all your help. Nineteen and one. We're clear the visual approach. See, so, uh, Diamond Seven Tango X-ray. Where are you going? It's trying to catch the localizer. Yeah, is what it's well, trying I'm to not going to let it go that way. Yeah, that's exactly what we're doing. Drive it to Lillery. You're in heading mode, right? I am. Okay. Extend your center line. All right. Where's the inside? Hang on. Let me 
Do flaps 15 for me when you can. Hello, Fort Wayne Tower. It's just uh, over Little Ring inbound for uh, uh, the visual to 3 2. Fogger, Fort Wayne Tower, and my 3 2, clear to land. Clear to land on 3 2. All right. Stew, gear down, please. B checks to gear down, select. All right, we got a pin steering is centered, three green. Traveling Two with five. much enthusiasm. I one thousand. One indication. That's weird, huh? Oh, that's weird. Huh? Right, that's flaps full. B checks. Flaps coming to full. Four hundred. All right, just the odd amp to go. Yep, we'll get that shortly. 300. Odd amps away. Four landing checks done. Minimums. Runway in sight continuing. All right. 100. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. You go. All right, got a good dump. Six lights. I'm not going to slam on it to make golf four. We'll just have to do a U-turn, or yeah. we'll continue down on our right. See if he wants a 180 or a right on Yankee. And uh, do you want us to? Do a 180 or exit up here to the right? Hawker, 180 on the runway is approved. Exit at Golf 4, Golf to the ramp for maintenance frequency. Okay, 180 is approved. Golf, Golf, or Golf 4, Golf to the ramp. And we'll stay with you. All right. This looks like the place.